Here's the deal. My kid, and now I know why she swims so well. Because she has a little bit of tuna fish She had in tuna in her. Yeah. And she's in the swim team. Yeah. Always the first one across. She's like a bluefin. She's a bluefin. <laughs> she's fast. That's what she is. But no, seriously, today I'm going to tell you why, how tuna made me a million bucks. No joking. All serious. Out of that 14 years, every day she makes me a tuna fish sandwich. I know this is gonna seem like a sponsored ad and people are like, this dude, this dude just got like a million bucks to stay star kiss and I, trust me, that's not the way this is going. Eating tuna every day is one of the things that I can attribute, I'm gonna explain in the video, why and how that put me in a position it put me in the frame of mind to get to the next level and take my business to the next level. And, you know, the main ingredient, no pun intended, of taking the business to the next level and what I did emotionally and mentally to set myself up for success and how it went down. There's no BS here, it's all 100% true. Honestly, Star Kiss is the only one I could eat. You know what I should do? Blind taste test. I could do it. If I can't pass blind taste test, nobody can, period. Yo, you, you told me not to let you forget about the death. Check it out. So Hunter delivered it on Saturday, 22 and a half gallons of it. So they hooked us up and they got me a new step too for the truck. No way. Yeah, they did. They got me, a, well, no way. They made me pay for it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, they got me a new step. I got the death. Remember I needed transmission fluid and oil. Okay. So yeah, I got everything. Yeah, they hooked me up. That's the grocery list? That's the grocery list for the truck. By the way, how long have you been married for? Honestly, it feels like a thousand years. I'm really? just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> We've been married, um, let's see, 05, what is 05 to now? 14, 15 years. Out of that 14 years, every day she makes me a tuna fish sandwich for 12 years now. She know me two years, and then she started making tuna fish for me every day. That's amazing that for 90% of our relationship, I've been eating tuna. The tuna must be amazing itself, and that's how long you eat tuna. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's just the way it is. It's the way it happened. Right. So I'm going to tell you a secret. And yeah, fill me in. This is a secret that few people know. Do you know the one thing Lisa hates that she won't eat? What? Fish. And you eat tuna she won't eat day, fish. Though? Now, you can't make a tuna sandwich the night before, and I'll tell you why. You know why? Well, I actually don't know why. Because if you put it on the bread, by the soggy. time you eat it right, it'll get soggy. Yeah. And I don't like it with toasted. See, people say, oh, we'll toast the bread, it'll dry the bread out, and then you can put it on, it still, it still gets mushy. Then it actually, it's like mushy toast. Yeah, that's, that sounds very unpleasing. The only fish she'll eat, which I, and honestly, I think it's overrated that she likes lobster. That's the only fish she'll eat. You think lobster's overrated? I think it's overrated. It's my favorite food. It's your favorite too? <laughs> my favorite Listen, food. I got a surprise for you. I got a big surprise for Matt that is really big that I'm not even going to tell him about it. So maybe the next video, I got to set it up. I, I got permission from somebody. Today is a day that Matt never had. Today, Today's your first annual Starkist Tuna Initiation Day. Initiation day. We made the uh, the tuna this morning, and we have the the Starkist labeled sandwiches. Once a year, I'll for 12 years, I hand out tuna sandwiches to the guys down at LNS. Where I took my first dumpster, I, I bring them tuna sandwiches. For first my, annual yeah. Starkist tuna. My debut. Debut of yeah. Starkist tuna. I never called it anything. Spectacular. There you go. Sandwich spectacular. Yeah. Of, of, I, I never had a name for it. I just always handed them out to people. I've heard about it, but I've never seen one. Well, here oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Fish, you know what today is? Yeah, Rob, well, what's today? Bro? You don't know? Yeah. For real? It's been 12 years. Yeah. That's good, because now you got lunch, and I gave you the one, look, I gave you the one with the wrapper on it. 12 years now we've been doing this. It's been that long. You're welcome, buddy. 
All right, so I'm gonna tell you that how serious I am about tuna fish. And this is no joke, I joke all the time. I'm a big jokester, I'm like Penn and Teller, or, or uh, what other comedians are Seth there? Rogan. Seth Rogen, or <laughs> who else can I be? I'm, I'm like a funniest guy in the whole world. But no, seriously, today, I'm gonna tell you why, how tuna made me a million bucks. No joking, all serious, no bullshit. Back in the day, I hurt my hand really bad. I actually ripped my thumb off they sewed it back on and that was a long time ago before I even did dumpsters I was in the construction industry I was making a shit ton of money I had a helicopter I had many helicopters I mean I was banking I had cabbage moolah dinero I mean I was banking it it hurt my hand and then the recession hit in 08 right around that time is when we started doing the dumpsters just dumpsters and things got a little tight money wasn't coming in like it was the recession hit things were bad well not as good as they were i know a lot of people the, the recession hit a lot harder than me and i get that and i, I my heart goes out for those people hey Vinny. yo yes sir what do you think today is um tuna fish day it's how do you know <laughs> is it, is it, is it? every time you come in here is when you have, what i have a, I, once a year once a year with my tuna sandwich. <laughs> look, check it out, check it out. Check it out. We haven't done it this year. Sarkis, my look, favorite. Look, look, that's it right there. Once a year, 12 years. 12 years, this is my 12th uh, tuna sandwich? That's your 12th tuna sandwich. <laughs> All right, you're the man. 12 years, man, can you believe it? Yeah. Well, I, well yeah, seven. you're like, yeah, I can believe it. You eat one every day, don't you? Every day. Well, that's how it started. <laughs> you love tuna, I love tuna. My mom's now, me tuna fish sandwiches since I was a kid. Listen. 12 years has been. So we put, look, Lisa put the thing on there today. We never did that before. It's a special thing. Yeah, it is. All right. Hey. Well, thank you for thinking of me. Every year. All right. I only think of I'll you once a year. You know only once a year. You know I love tuna. <laughs> I'll see you later. All right. Love you, Vinny. But I told the wife, I said, listen, I'm going to buckle down. I'm going to do what it takes to turn our, our life around. And it all started with tuna fish. And you're thinking, how did it start with tuna fish? And I said to her, I said, I'm going to put my nose to the grindstone. I'm not going to buy lunch anymore. I'm not going to go out and do the proverbial hour lunch and spend 30 bucks on lunch every day like we were every day. Every day we were spending my lunch. I said, that's it. I cut myself off and I said, listen, honey, I need you to make me tuna fish and I need you to keep me on the straight and narrow. And that's how it started. You want to get to work? I said, yes, I'm going to turn us around. I'm going to turn this whole recession thing on its side. I'm going to start making us, our family some money and I'm going to put us on top again. I can't do that if I'm spending an hour at the restaurant. And every day I would eat the tuna fish sandwich. I would remember I need to be working and I need to be focused. And that tuna fish sandwich would be my reminder every day to stay focused. And you say, well, how did it make you a million bucks? Well, we're doing a million dollars in business. That's why, that's how it, so we turned, you know, a nothing business into a multi-million dollar business. That was first step, was the focus and the commitment to the dream. You're not gonna bring it to the next level if you don't stay focused, laser focused. And my laser focus was reminded me every day by my wife's commitment to making me tuna fish every day and to stay focused and to remember every day what the goal was. And that tuna fish sandwich was it. I put the little label on the tuna can. You know why I put the label on the tuna can? One day the wife was making tuna and she was completely beside herself. I thought she was gonna hurl. And she was like, I don't know if it was the morning, it was early, I think it was winter time and it was just something really fishy. She's like, I can't do this. I'm like, what's wrong? She shows me the can and it wasn't Star Kiss. I said, I noticed something was different. Why are you making me a different brand? She goes, well, they didn't have it. And I think a big deal, tuna fish, tuna fish. I don't eat it. That I haven't even been able to eat the whole sandwich for like three days because you're using this nonsense. Uh, yeah, knockoff or yeah, it was store like, brand. Yeah, like it wasn't even, it was another brand. I only know the other brands because I only eat the- um, It wasn't your brand. Uh, right, it wasn't, it wasn't my yours. brand. She didn't know it. She's been going to the same place forever because we have one grocery store bias that is, is, is convenient. Yeah. And so that's why I put the, the little thing on today. I do that once a year, like, so you, you got to see the once a year, the once a year thing.